Okay, hey everybody, it is Blue Trappage, and welcome back to another episode of Pokemon Mystery Dungeon Explorers of Sky. Today, um, I'm trying to remember actually, it's been a little bit, and ooh, it seems my controls are also wrong. Brilliant, we're just gonna have to guess our way through. Ahem, and so, as you're all quite well aware, Gilmas has not yet returned from his errand. However, I intend to set off a brain cave as scheduled. Hey, hey, where did your master go anyway? Um, I wouldn't know that. You're not gonna be okay without your master. No problem, there's no need for your concern at all. Gilmaster must have decided we can manage on our own without him for the time being. That's why he hasn't come home yet. Furthermore, in the place of our absent Guildmaster, you have me to lead you. Hmm. 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 Ah. Uh, why isn't anyone saying anything? It. It can't be. Do you all think that I'm not up to the task? E everyone, out with it! Am I perhaps, perhaps, inadequate? Worthless to you? Er, uh, no. I wouldn't say that, by golly. When Guildmaster isn't here, it just feels less safe. Hey, hey, you know the Guildmaster. He's hard to figure out. But hey, hey, he rarely comes through when things get rough. But the Guildmaster isn't with us right now, so... We have to take charge and do as he wanted. That's right. I'm sure we can get the job done on our own. Let's go for it. On our own. You're right. We can't count on the Guildmaster for everything. Oh yes, that's the spirit. Let's do our best. Shout out. The Guildmaster is absent, so there's only one among us who can lead. And that's you, Chathot. Huh? Who? Who? Me? Of course. You said so earlier. You said we'll be fine because you're here to lead us. Lead the way. Show us, Chathot. That's right, show us, Chathot. Hey, <laughs> hey. You're mute, I'm counting on you. Urgh. Well, well, <laughs> everyone, you can always count on me when the things uh, are this bad. What's the matter, Charlotte? Sound the call of duty already. I know, I know. Commencing now. We shall depart on a guild exploration of Brian Cave. Everyone, let us excel together. Now listen, everyone. This is the entrance to Brian Cave. Your objective is to reach the deepest part of this dungeon. That is where we will find the same odd pattern inscribed on the relic fragment that Pikachu has. However, it is there where an extremely vicious Pokemon lurks. The extremely vicious? God, that sounds scary. Hey, hey, Shadow. What is it? Yesterday, Guildmaster said something about that vicious Pokemon. But Shadow, you seem to know just as much about this dungeon. Hey, hey! Shadow, is it possible that you've been here before? That's right. I have come here before. I explored here long ago with the Guildmaster. It was deep in this cave where we saw a peculiar pattern. It was then, however, those tough Pokemon appeared. Ooh. So, what were they like? Tough, you say? Nah... I don't remember at all. Huh? You don't remember? Yes, but I love to admit it. They attacked with no warning, out of nowhere. I was knocked out before I could do a thing. When I came to, the Guildmaster was tending to me wounds. 
but I had no memory of events before that, so I couldn't tell you what the attackers were like. Ah. That gives us nothing to go on. So we don't know what kind of enemy we're facing, we'll have to make our way slowly. Wait a second. Hey, Chad, huh? At first you said there was one vicious Pokemon, but then you said they attacked you. There's more than one. Hmm? No, it wasn't just one. There was one extremely vicious Pokemon, but it wasn't alone. When they attacked... Oh, I remember now. They attacked all at once. I recall getting slammed with water. Like a tidal wave. Like a tidal wave. That could mean water type moves. We're a ground type. We don't like water at all. I hope we don't have to fight enemies like that. It'll be awfully dangerous to make a go of it alone. Well, that's right. We should make several groups to explore the cave. We'll do that, sir. Yup, yup. Hey, hey, we should form teams that don't bunch up types. You two. Remember what the Giddle Master said yesterday? The members from Team Waterboat must be in my group. Therefore, you two shall accompany me while exploring this cave. Understood. I trust you won't hold me up too much. Oh, you must not expect me to do everything for you. It's up to you to look after yourselves. Uh, understood. Alright, everyone. We're off to conquer Brine Cave. Let's give it our all. <laughs> Chief. Looks like those lot from the guild are already inside. <laughs> Shall we follow them? <laughs> Sounds good. We'll track them, but let's keep out of sight. When the right time comes along somewhere in the cave. That's when we'll grab that wimpy Pikachu's relic fragment. Then we'll hightail it to the deepest part of the cave. We'll grab all the glory of solving this mystery. Hehe, <laughs> brilliant chief. Your plan's perfect. <laughs> naturally. Anyway. It'll be us, Team Skull. We'll be the ones going to the hidden land. Hehehe. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Right, well now I remember we were going to be exploring Brine Cave with old Shatot here. Uh, yeah, so it seems like a lot is going to be going down and I have to literally remember how to play this goddamn game. Uh, there we go, yep, map. <laughs> Oops, I accidentally, um... Oh, uh, I brought up the Xbox uh, menu, but I don't think that came up on screen, so we're good. And here, ooh! Actually, we'll do quite well in this dungeon. Well, not me particularly, but uh, Pikachu will. Let's see, he has that lovely little type advantage. Unless, of course, we encounter a Gastrodon. That doesn't help a whole lot. Bet you it has water absorb. Okay. Hmm, Rain Dance. In I, I did not mean to do that. <laughs> Like I said, my buttons are wrong right now, so everything is going a bit weird. Come on. Come on. Crunch. Oh boy, there we go. <laughs> oh. Another Gastrodon? I can't pronounce its name. Gastrodon. Is that it? I think so. Out of my way. I am here to conquer the Brine Cave, as Chatot did say so dramatically. Oh. And it seems we only have Kingler and Gastrodon. Luckily, they are quite easy. And I don't even think we're that overleveled, so we sh I thought this would be more of a challenge. What a- Eh! My A is mapped to my B button, and it's really, like, throwing me off. Because for some reason, I just can't remember 
the button positions off the... <laughs> Yay. Off the top of my head. That was a funny little, uh, funny little room. Oh, a Sveal! Oh, it's not Sveal, it's Sealed. <laughs> Two completely different Pokemon. Surprisingly. God. Um, yeah, I think Crunch is going to be our best friend in this one. I, I was about to say, Jesus Pikachu, what the hell, but I did lower its defense. Jesus Pikachu, what the hell? That was very strong. Eh. Thank you. Thank you for, for getting me rained on. Okay, Pikachu didn't want to do anything for that uh, term for some reason. Very fun. We love to see it. Ooh, the stairs are here. Hello. Ooh, we have been on this uh, journey for... Oh. How hell did I do? Okay, so Right. I'm getting my head all twisted around trying to figure out what the hell the buttons do. <laughs> I swear this happens every single time. I... Now, every single time I play this game, I was like, oh, how, what buttons do I press? I've completely forgotten. I think it's because I'm using a different controller than what I've normally used, if I recall. But the last episode I recorded was over a month ago, so I don't know. Oh, well, though. We're making good progress. I was saying something before. Ooh, ooh, water. Wait. I know water pulse, don't I? Yeah. <laughs> For a second, I'm like, ooh, that would be really good, but we already know the move, so we're all right. Yeah, we've been on this uh, journey for quite a while now. This series has been running message log. This series been, has been running for an incredibly long time, mainly because I upload so infrequently. But still, it's been like two, three years, I think. And it's... We can feel now that we're slowly starting to get close to the end. You know, when we're approaching like the final dungeon, you know, we're sort of uh, putting together the pieces to... Enter the grand finale, as it were, which is both exciting and kind of daunting. Because this has sort of just been what I've been doing. Thank you, Gastrodon. Yeah, this series has kind of just been what I've been doing as, like, my main thing for ages. I've done all sorts of different side episodes, or side, no, not side episodes, sorry, side videos of other bits and bobs. But uh, it's going to be weird not having Pokemon. I can't even say that. I can't even say Pokemon right. It's gonna be weird not having Pokemon Mystery Dungeon, so just fall back on as a fun little thing to do. Who knows, maybe after this one I'll uh, play the... Mm, not the next, it's the previous installment. But maybe I'll do the Switch version. Uh, what was it? DX. I forget the full title, but the remakes of the originals, which might be a fun idea to do. I think... In terms of my, like, nostalgia and my memory, because I, I I have played that, and I have also played the original originals, I think... I don't know which I prefer, honestly. Because this has, by far, the better story. But there's just something a bit more... heartwarming. Is that even the right word? I don't know. And there's something just a lot more... nicer, in, in a weird way of saying it, about the, uh, the originals. Although maybe it's because you're not with a guild in the originals. You you are just two. You know, you start on your own. You make friends, but you are. There's you, your partner, and you're doing your thing. And there's no... No. It's hard to describe. Both are, both are great games. And that should be the end of it, really. Both, both are great games. Anyway, I have waffled on for quite long enough. I don't think I have anything else to say about current events besides the fact that in every single dungeon, this one included, the music is mwah, great music. And I'm going to now cut that music off as we speed up, flash, yeah, it'll probably speed up, to uh, the next big event of this episode. As in, uh, right now. <laughs> We've gone pretty far down. Hey, Chatter. Are we nearing the place where you saw that pattern? We're nearly there. We don't have far to go. However, as I've told you before, every step also takes us closer to those vicious Pokemon. Yes, 
And we'll have to stay careful and keep our eyes open. Anyway, we don't have far to go now. Let's keep it up, Trapinch. Ow! Whoops, excuse me. Hey! Oh, oh. Long time, weaklings. Oh, you're that nice team, eh? This is it. The Relic Fragment. Th that's... <laughs> I'll take this. Hey! <laughs> this is the second time you're getting mugged for this. <laughs> you don't learn very well, that's for sure. Wait, 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 please. I'm afraid I'm not following what's going on here. Why are you even here? I haven't seen any of you from Team Skull since you suddenly disappeared during the expedition. I, I fretted for your well-being. Wait, ha! Ha! <laughs> your girl's full of gobble nincompoops, just waiting to be fleeced. Ho ho ho! Your demeanor and language seem to be much coarser now. Shut up. They were deceiving the guild all this time. They're a bad exploration team. Team scores a bunch of crooks. Oh, what? Is that true? <laughs> what else? You'd have to be naive beyond belief to be fooled this long. <laughs> anyway, now we've got the relic fragment. Now we're just going to have to go to the hidden land. Eat your hearts out, Nickwitz. <laughs> Squaw! 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 No stinking scoundrels! Play me for a fool, will they? Squaw! They won't get away with this! I'll show them what it means to trifle with me! Hey, wait, shut up! He's gone. Shut up was sure furious, I hope he'll be okay. After all, there are those vicious Pokemon who want us lurking ahead. Not just that, we still need to recover my relic fragment from Skunk Tank. We should hurry too. Well then. That was quite a turn of events, wasn't it? We've just been robbed, and Chatot's gone up AWOL. Oh god, also, during that scene when Chatot got a bit, you know, ruh, ruh, his face is like, his, uh, what, sprite face, this thing, of him looked hilarious, he looked like he had seen some things, like, that was terrifying. <laughs> anyway, I think that's, uh, that'll do it there for now, so thank you all so much for watching, and, uh, see you next time.